Hi everyone, I welcome you all back once again to the Gospel of Jesus with Grace. My new and my old subscribers, you are highly welcome. Please, if today is your first time of coming across this channel, you are highly, highly welcome. Please do me well to subscribe to this channel, okay? May God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. So it's all about Christ on this channel. The Bible says in the book of Hosea that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. What does the Bible mean when he said that my people perish because of lack of knowledge? When you read Hosea chapter 4 from verse 6, he said that you refuse to acknowledge me. You have rejected me. What does it really mean when God said that you have rejected him? You reject him in the sense that you are not following his ways. You are disobeying his commandments. You are not doing that which he asked you to do. You are living your life outside the will of God. You are living your life outside the commandment of God. You are rejecting God. That is why we are being perished. A lot of people are being doomed because they don't know what they are doing. When they are supposed to go by their right, they are going by their left. Because they don't know what they are doing. Knowledge is the key of life. When you lack knowledge, you lack everything. You have to have that knowledge of the word of God. You have to have that knowledge of what God wants you to do and of what God don't want you to do. When you lack that knowledge, you will see yourself going in the, in the wrong direction. You will see yourself, instead of going forward, you are going backward. That is what the Bible is trying to tell us when it says that my people are perished, my people are doomed because of lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge has made a lot of people to end up in a place that they are not supposed to end up. A lot of people are living a life that is not their own because they refuse to acknowledge God. The Bible say, acknowledge God in all your ways. When you don't acknowledge God in all your ways, in all you do, you will end up in a place that you never expected to end up. That is why it's good at all times. Let us seek the face of the Lord in everything we do. Let me say this. A lot of people are in a marriage in which this marriage is not being signed by God. A lot of people has married the wrong partner because why they refuse to acknowledge God. They refuse to ask God, is he the right man for me? Is she the right woman for me? Just because you saw him, just because you saw her, they say love at first sight. You fell in love. You think that he is for you. You think that she is for you. You refuse to ask God, God, am I, am, am I supposed to marry him? Is he my husband? Is he the one that you have created for me? That is how people are being doomed. That is how people are being perished every day because they refuse to acknowledge the word of of God because they refuse to acknowledge God himself. They refuse to let God to be the master over their life. If God is not the one that is directing your life, believe me, you will always end up in the wrong direction. You will always end up in a place you never wanted to end up. That is because you didn't allow him to direct you. You think you can do it all by yourself. The Bible said that unless God watches over the city, the watchmen are watching in vain. Unless God build the house, the builder are building in vain. If God is not the foundation that is holding that house, any time that winds will come, the winds will pull that house down. It doesn't matter if the wind is a strong wind or if the wind is not a strong wind. If God is not the foundation that is holding your life, if God is not the foundation that is holding your job, that is holding that contract, that is holding your marriage, a little wind like this will pull it out. A little wind like this will pull it out. That is why we need to acknowledge God in all we do. That is why we need God in every area of our life, in every aspect of our life. Let us acknowledge God so that we will not be perished. Let us acknowledge God so that that thing that we have been suffering for, that thing that we have been laboring for, that thing that we have been trying so hard to get, but eventually we get it. So that the thing will not be a waste when we eventually get it. Because if God is not the one that gives that thing to you, the same way that thing came into your life is going to be the same way that same thing is going to run out of your life. That is why we need God in everything we do. That is why we need God. We need to hold God strong. We need to know what he wants us to do. We need to know where he wants us to go. We need to know even what he wants us to say. Because some people can speak and unspeakable things. A lot of people talk without control. A lot of people talk without reasoning what is going out of their mouths. And the Bible asks us to beware of our tongue because our tongue, as tiny as it is in our body, 
It can lead you to death. It can lead you to hell. The same tongue that can destroy you is that same tongue that can save you. That is why we need to be careful. Let us all seek God in all we do. Let us all acknowledge God in all we do. Do not think that you don't need God. You need Him. You need Him because you cannot do it all by yourself. You need Him because He is your Father. The Bible said that He first loves us. You need Him in all areas of your life. He is your Maker. He is your Creator. Don't think that you don't need Him. But you are big enough to take care of yourself. There is nobody that is big enough to take care of yourself. No, you can't be wiser and be greater than God. You can't even protect yourself. You need him to protect you. He said, because they refuse to acknowledge me. If you don't acknowledge God, how will he protect you? There is a place I read in the Bible. I forgot where it is. He said that if you don't ask him to come and protect you, how is he going to protect you? You need to ask. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek, you shall find. That is what the Bible says. I am not the one that is saying it, but the word of God is the one that is saying it. Seek, you shall find. Acknowledge God in all your ways. Acknowledge God in all you do. Let God be the foundation that is holding your life. Let God be the foundation that is holding everything that concerns you. It's good to rest at the feet of Jesus. Put everything that concerns you at the feet of Jesus. Put your pain at the feet of Jesus. Put your trials at the feet of Jesus. You just relax. All you need to do is to drop your load at the feet of Jesus. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him by dropping your load at his feet. And you will see him fighting your battles. You will see him defeating your enemies. If you can't fight your battle by yourself, you need him to fight your battle. You don't have that power to fight. You need him to fight for you. Drop your worries at his feet. Drop your load at his feet. That is what he wants you to do. Acknowledge him. Let him be the Lord and the master over your life. Let him be the leader of your life. You can't lead yourself. Let him lead you. Let him direct you. Allow God to direct you. Allow God to lead you. So please, my brothers and sisters, let us all learn how to acknowledge God in all of our ways. In all we do, in everything that have to do with us, let us acknowledge God. Because he is a God who never fail. He is a God who never disappoint. He is a God who speaketh and he cometh to pass. Let us acknowledge him. His word has never failed and he will not fail in your life in the name of Jesus. So I want to say a very big thank you to you all for taking out your time to watch this video. Please, if you are new on this channel, this is the Gospel of Jesus with Grace. Do me well to subscribe, okay? And may God bless you as you do so. I will see you guys again on my next video. But before then, remember, bless. Bye.